Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Most people, when they use their computer, at least at the desktop, um, control their mouse cursor with a mouse. I guess that isn't really a mouse cursor unless you're using a mouse, especially if you're using a stylus to control that cursor. And it's possible to use a stylus to control your cursor even if you don't happen to have a tablet PC. Microsoft's been pushing a, a new type of uh, form factor for their mobile devices, um, the smaller ones being the ultra mobile PCs, and then some laptops have the ability for you to interact with the screen using a stylus, and those are called tablet PCs. But you can turn your desktop PC into a sort of tablet PC so long as you have one of these. It's a tablet. Um, it happens to be a tablet that connects by USB and with this tablet I can control things on my screen using the stylus or the mouse that comes with this tablet. Wacom W A C O M is the manufacturer of this hardware and I may have mispronounced that. I don't know. I've just been using it for years. And why would you want to use a tablet? Well, you know, if you're into drawing and you, you have an artistic streak in you, um, it's much nicer to um, design and draw using a pen, a stylus, uh, than it is using a mouse. Sometimes the mouse isn't as precise as a pen, especially if you are better with writing with your hand than you are with dragging and dropping with a mouse. It's kind of a clumsy tool for drawing. Some people do very well using a, a mouse in creating graphics and manipulating things on screen. Some people have an easier time uh, with a pen. The problem I always had with a pen is that I always <laughs> I always press too hard when I write with something, and the same holds true with uh, using a, a pen uh, or a stylus on the computer as it, when I'm using a pen in real life, writing something down on paper. Uh, I don't hold the mouse as tightly as I always had uh, a pen. Uh, now, there's a program out there. It's free. Actually, it's, there's two versions of the program. Uh, this is Art Rage, and it's been around for a few years now. There's a version for the Mac and the PC. There is a, a version you can pay for, and the one I happen to be using here is free. And you can see behind me, I've drawn, using the stylus here, uh, a caricature of myself. It took me about five minutes or so. I'm not, you know, amazing. I'm not an artist by any stretch of the imagination. Art Rage is a program that will allow you to paint or draw with a variety of, well, I can use a, a marker, crayon, chalk, uh, or a paintbrush, which is what I used uh, on, on this particular uh, drawing of myself. So I can give myself a blue beard. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell from that far away. <laughs> but this is, it, it allows me to paint. And instead of using the mouse, I'm using the stylus. Now, you can use ArtRage with your mouse as well. It's not a big deal, but this would be an application or an idea about a program that you would use in conjunction with uh, a tablet attached to your computer. Or you can see how this, uh, this mirrors the screen. It's the same dimensions as the screen. I could use this to control Windows as well. It happens to have a rocker switch so I could right-click effectively. Sometimes you can control the stylus and make the, the back of it as an eraser or a right-click mechanism. That's just another way of, I guess, controlling your computer. Uh, so Divine, you were asking, can I use a, a tablet device attached by USB to in, in both with both a stylus and a mouse? And so long as that tablet comes with a stylus and a mouse, yes, you should be able to use both. That being said, even though I can use this mouse in conjunction with this particular tablet, I can also use my regular mouse that's plugged into the computer as well. So, you know, ultimately, it's just a fun little add-on. It's another way of, of providing input to interacting with your computer. It's always one of those fun things that you can have. I mean, even if you don't want it, it's just a peripheral that's nice to do. If you want to just doodle or play around and, you know, have another type of input device, it always impresses people because everyone's used to seeing the, uh, the mouse or a trackball, but very seldom a stylus attached, unless, of course, you're an artist. So there you go, Divine. Good luck with that. And if anybody has any specific tablet recommendations, by all means, tell us.